Right, so sometimes when we need to enter some nodes on an asset, it is usually when we are doing some work on the asset. So uh, it makes sense that uh, we should be able to enter like a work order number into this record so that we know like uh, the nodes uh, that come up when we're doing what uh, work and then we can go to that work order to see the detail of the work order. And also, uh, in order to demonstrate our uh, Java customization code, then uh, what we're gonna do is when we trying to enter a work order number here, our Java code will look up that work order and uh, fetch some of the information, like basic information of the work order, like the work order number, description, the name of the supervisor who supervises that who supervise that work. Enter those details into this uh, log entry so that uh, we can quickly see the basic detail of the work order in this uh, text screen. So uh, that's what we're gonna do next. So the first step we need to do is to uh, make change to this record to enter, allow the user to enter a work order number here. So that's what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to the uh, uh, database configuration to add a new field to the object I'm gonna add a new field and call it work order num I'm trying to make it consistent with existing field in the uh, current application I'm gonna make it the same as uh, work order object same as the uh, order num field yep. oh, I probably want to make it a uh, searchable okay so now in order for me to be able to click on a select button and select the work order number from a list then uh, it's a good idea to define a domain so in this case i'm going to the domain application i'm gonna create a new table domain i'm gonna call it uh, my uh, work okay and uh, I'll type the work order. Now I'm going to reference the uh, work order table. And for the uh, available value list of all of the work order, I'm going to select all work order where status is not uh, closed. cancel I don't remember exactly what is the status of those but I will just leave it here uh, to just to demonstrate only so that's it I probably will click OK here and then I'm gonna find it yeah and return with value so I can populate the domain number here click on save and then run database configuration again Now I'm going to add the field to uh, the application interface. So I'm going to application designer, open the asset application. I'm going to the lock that, then add a new field. I'm going to make it a text box. Yep, so I'm going to put it, probably we don't need the side field here, so I'm going to remove it. I'm going to rearrange it a little bit. Yep, 
and set it for one and look up uh, when I set it for order yep and that's it actually I changed my mind I probably want to display the order description here so I'm gonna use a multi-path text box so I'm gonna delete this one so for multi-path text box I'm gonna set it for num here and I'm gonna set it for order description so basically what it does is it will look up the work order relationship of this uh, record and then pick up the related work order and then display the description field uh, for the next part for the second part of the multi-part text box yeah so for go to application i'm going to make this a menu instead of a lookup uh, menu so i'm going to make it a normal menu here so if you notice that it changed to a uh, menu button here and then we can make it go to the work check application so in this case it will allow us to click on the button and choose go to work order to go to and open that work order in uh, the work order application yep so uh, that's uh, probably it uh, i will make the second part read only because i don't want to make a change to the work order description from this screen so i'm gonna change it to read only yep so at this time then uh, we have an invalid bound here because we haven't defined the relationship from this object to point to our work order uh, table yet so that's what we're gonna have to do so i'm gonna set i'm gonna create a new relationship iconic work order then we pointing it to the work order table or work order object and then we're gonna use our web clause which is um, work order no sorry num equal num and sign id equal sign id yep. Yep. So when we add a new relationship, then uh, we don't need to apply database change in this case. So there's no change. It's obvious. Yeah. So basically, we don't need to run uh, apply database config here. Yeah. Okay. Now let's uh, quickly see if our configuration works. Yeah. Go to the log start. Let's say if we try to click select here. Yep, we can select a list of uh, work order, available work order here. Let's uh, choose one. So when choose one, you can see it will return the key, the work order number value here, and it will display the description of the work order on the second part here. We can choose go to work order. And it will open this uh, record in the uh, work order checking application okay so we have uh, finished our configuration now the next step for us to do is to uh, write some java coding so that whenever we choose a work order number here then it will also go to the work order table and uh, get this record and then uh, write down the detail of the record into this uh, text box field so normally we don't need to do that, but this is just to demonstrate uh, our uh, Java code. So that's what we're going to do next. 